Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn the practical skills to perform the peroneal nerve mobility testing. A physiotherapist can opt to perform this test when the patient complains of symptoms that is pain and any other problem in the anterior lateral region of the leg as well as the dorsum of the foot. The test helps the therapist to determine the mechanical functions and mechanosensitivity of the peroneal component of the sciatic nerve that is the common peroneal nerve and the superficial peroneal nerve. Now students please note that the deep peroneal component is not tested in this peroneal nerve tension testing. This is so because it travels anteriorly and not anterolaterally and the deep part can be isolated and loaded with the ankle plantar flexion with SLR movement. So let's start with the practical demonstration of peroneal nerve mobility testing. To test the mechanical functions of the peroneal nerve, the therapist is going to make the patient lie down in the supine lying position and the therapist is going to stand on the side that needs to be tested. So let's say we are going to test for the right side peroneal nerve. So the therapist is first going to maintain a wide stride standing position and then is going to use the corded hand to grip the distal part of the foot and toes and this needs to be done in a manner so that the forearm of the therapist goes under the leg of the patient and the hands next grips the dorsum of the toes of the patient so that the therapist can easily plantar flex and invert the ankle as well as the foot and toes to add tension to the peroneal component. Now while maintaining this position the cephalid hand of the therapist is going to be placed over the tibial plateau in order to prevent any knee flexion movement. Now the test is going to be the ankle plantar flexion inversion and along with this the SLR movement and this is going to add tension to the peroneal part of the sciatic nerve. The test can be further sensitized by adding the hip internal rotation and the hip adduction movements. Now the normal response to this test is the stretching or pulling sensation along the anterior lateral part of the leg as well as the dorsum of the foot. The test is considered to be positive if it can reproduce the patient's symptoms. So that means that if a therapist tests for the peroneal component of the sciatic nerve and while producing this ankle plantar flexion inversion with toe flexion movement and SLR, if it reproduces the patient's symptoms then to ensure that it is the nervous system that is playing the role in the production of the patient's response what we can do is we can add the hip internal rotation or the hip adduction movement and if this further increases the patient's symptoms or pain then the test is considered to be positive so i sincerely hope that the information shared in this video is going to be helpful especially for the physiotherapy students and young practitioners do keep motivating us with your comments and feedback see you all in our next video till then keep learning keep sharing and stay connected